get one handcuffed and then they have to take all your money. money. what it's like to celebrate Day of the Dead in Mexico City and Oaxaca, well I'm going to be doing both, so stay tuned. In case you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. My name's Laura and I have been travelling Europe and Mexico with my boyfriend Aiden for the last few months. And this video, we managed to tick off a massive bucket list item by going to celebrate Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead Festival in Mexico. So let me take you back to our first stop of the trip, Mexico City for the Dia de los Muertos Parade. So we've just stopped off at a coffee shop called Quinton and we've got ourselves a barista coffee. Super excited for this. We've not had one for a while. We've been on a drip machine, so. What is it? Espresso. E-tonic. How is it? E-tonic. <laughs> it's interesting. So is it be, fizzy? It could be good for, a, good for a hot day. Is it fizzy? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. Dead Festival is one of the most popular and flamboyant festivals celebrated in Mexico and also Latin America. It's a beautiful festival which is there to celebrate loved ones' lives in the past. I had heard of Day of the Dead prior to going to Mexico. I was completely blown away by the scale of this festival and the welcomeness of families to allow you to celebrate their loved ones' lives as well. It's with skulls and face painting and lots of these offerings where people laid out their loved ones' favourite memories, favourite foods, drinks, tequila shots, and it was just a beautiful way to celebrate with the locals. And I think we can take something from it ourselves in celebrating people's lives every single year, although they may not. In Mexico City in particular, they never used to have this celebration parade. However, you may recognize some of the skulls from a very famous James Bond film, The Spectre Movie, 
and ever since that was released, Mexico City decided to put on this great parade which draws thousands and thousands of people every single year. And so we were lucky enough to experience it and celebrate with the rest of the locals. So let's get back to those celebrations in Mexico City with Bailey, Becky and of course Aiden. Let's get into it. The dream. <laughs> I think it's also super spendy today. I think so we'll what are we doing now? I don't know. I think we so should just go it. and get some thirstita. Miss Kalita. Get a tinny for the road. <laughs> <laughs> Do you the like that? Mwah. <laughs> It kind of reminds me a little bit of Mardi Gras in Australia, but way, way better. But um, we've just finished up at the parade. It didn't go for as long as we thought. It was maybe like half an hour, 45 minutes, but I guess it goes like the whole span of the city. So we've just popped into an Oxo, which is the nearest kind of convenience store. Gonna get some beer, because celebration. We can drink it on the street. I think they're like 23 pesos, which is like one pound or a dollar fifty. So we'll grab that. Walk to the bar and we'll see what we find. Man, so guys, we've just been told that you can't like drink in the street there. <gasps> Celebration, we can drink on the street. And like you get arrested, so don't do it. Like, <laughs> do we were in handcuffs in Mexico. You get handcuffed, and then they have to take all your money. So yeah. just don't do it. Just don't drink in the street. We're bad influencers. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't follow our leads. Love you guys. <laughs> Or do you follow our lead when we tell you to do that? Risk it, risk it, you'll be fine. <laughs> no, don't! <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? No? We're going for some nice little beauty contest. We're going to treat ourselves, you know, because we're not backpackers. No. I'm not a backpacker. No. I am a backpacker. No. I'm with bougie friends. And You're now, a bougie backpacker. Flash Flashback. <laughs> Super, super fun. It was really cool seeing the parade, lots of 
really big skeletons. I tried to get as much footage as possible. We were kind of towards the back of the crowds. I think if you don't get there really, really early, then you will be at the back. But luckily I had Aiden to sit on his shoulders to get the footage that we wanted um, every now and then when something cool came past as well. And we just went out afterwards to some bars. However, the last bar that we went into wouldn't actually let us take our camera in. So we had to put it in security lockup. So didn't get too much footage there, but it was super fun. Yeah, just to let our hair down and celebrate one of the biggest festivals in Mexico. So plan for today. We're gonna head into Centro, I believe. They've got some of the offerings and some more Day of the Dead stuff there that we're gonna be having a look at. We wanna get some breakfast and coffee, so we'll take you along. So we've come to Zacalo, which is in Centro, which is where they have all of the offerings here. So they've got Really big um, skeletons and stuff, so we're gonna have a little walk around and see what it's like. It, we came across these incredible musicians right outside the hotel where James Bond Spectre was filmed. The film that inspired this entire festival, well, the festivities here in Mexico City anyway, and it was just an amazing end to a great day celebrating Dios de las Muertas, the true Mexican city. Next, we're heading to Oaxaca to celebrate Dias de los Muertos, where it originated from in this beautiful traditional city with colour, fiesta, drinking and some pretty strange celebrations actually. You don't want to miss it. 